Hi there, John Kelsey here. Thanks for watching this video. I'm looking at myself in the monitor when I'm doing this video, and it looks like uh, I look like a raccoon. I was I was riding my Harley yesterday in the sun at about sundown. I got more sun than I thought, so if I look like a raccoon, uh, I don't have a makeup department to take care of it. <laughs> Enough of that. Hey, I wanted to just point out something about Red Rhino. People ask me like, what is the hot tip for Red Rhino? And you know, there's a lot you need to know. You need to go through the videos. I've already told you all that. But what I want you to know is. Is, is, is I, I put on the whiteboard it says hot rhino tip you know what I should have done is I should have put something like uh, I should have put the title as something like a habit that'll save your butt because that's more like what I'm gonna show you okay and here's what I mean by that you need to get in the habit of checking every entry you'll see what I mean if you've been into red rhino and you've added some materials listen when you populate the materials over to the right now only people that have done rhino are going to know what I'm talking about but you always want to check your entry and here's what I mean and here's why let's say that you're using a conduit wizard and you put in a certain amount of, of conduit let's say you put in 1120 feet okay let's say that you accidentally add an extra zero that makes it 11,200 feet you get the difference, you get my drift. So when you input materials, you always check your entry to make sure the, that the amount or the quantity is accurate. You, if you accidentally slip with your fingers and add an extra digit, believe me, the impact it will impact your estimate. Okay, so make sure that you check every line of entry then is the other tip. After everything's input and after everything is complete, I always go through, now this, I've done estimates in the millions of dollars, and. I always go through each and every entry that's on the material takeoff, on the recap, and in the proposal. Check everything to make sure it's okay. Listen, you, you, you have to just, this is a habit that really will save your butt because you won't have overages and you'll miss a lot less when you're checking everything that you do. Okay, now other than that, this is short and sweet. I just want to encourage you to, to uh, below this screen here, fill out the survey for me, okay? I want to know what keeps you awake at night. You'll see in the survey, it takes probably about four minutes or less to fill it out. I just want to understand what you're going through and what I can help you to understand and learn better, okay, about estimating or the contracting business. Again, please just take a minute and fill it out for me, and uh, eventually I'll be, I'll be creating training for those specific things. I've had people say things like their biggest problem, and don't use these if they're not applicable to you, but uh, people have problems bidding stuff like remodels. You know, how do I determine the extra labor for bidding remodel work? Okay, I don't want to put too many suggestions, uh, give you too many suggestions, but that's, that's the thing I'm talking about. What is it that you have a really ch a big challenge with in your business and in estimating specifically? Okay, other than that, I'm just going to tell you, we're going to help you to bid it to win it, okay? That's it for now. Talk to you soon.